Ohio teenager who chose to be vaccinated against his mother's wishes was the star witness at a Senate hearing on Capitol Hill this week. The Senate Health Committee holding a hearing on vaccines and preventable disease outbreaks. Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander leading the hearing. Drew Pe Petromo has the details. My mother is an anti-vax advocate. Years after his parents refused to give him common vaccines, 18-year-old Ethan Lindenberger did his own research and decided to get them on his own. I saw that the information in defense of vaccines outweighed the concerns heavily. The Senate Health Committee used Ethan's story to highlight what medical experts and lawmakers say is a growing problem, unvaccinated children. Internet fraudsters who claim that vaccines are not safe are preying on the unfounded fears and daily struggles of parents. Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander says fear of vaccines has led to alarming outbreaks of measles in parts of the country where vaccination rates are relatively low. In response, medical experts want Congress to increase funding for vaccine research and availability. All but three states allow parents to refuse to vaccinate their children for religious or philosophical reasons. In the wake of measles outbreaks, some states are considering ending the exemptions. But Kentucky Senator Rand Paul argues the government should not force parents to vaccinate their children. Force is not consistent with the American story, nor is force consi consistent with the liberty our forefathers sought when they came to America. Louisiana well, Senator well, Bill Cassidy is no fan of forced vaccination, but he says schools have a right to ban children of parents who simply don't want to vaccinate their kids. If you're such a believer in liberty that you do not wish to be vaccinated, then there should be a consequence, and that is that you cannot infect other people. While that debate continues, vaccine advocates are calling for a nationwide marketing campaign. It would focus on vaccine safety and effectiveness to counter misinformation parents receive online. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo.